Bukake. <laughs> Hi, this is Fiona with Get, from Get Your Rock Out. I'm here with Glass Guns, who have just performed an amazing final show in Coventry. Hi, guys. Hello. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hi. So, it was an amazing night. How was it for you? Uh, uh, pff, like she said, amazing. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll wake up tomorrow and probably feel all the emotions under the sun. Right now, I feel drunk and a bit high and let, that's what I was aiming for to be honest and that's good it was good I had real fun yeah yeah, uh, yeah it, it, Everybody it was a good way to end it everyone that supported us over the years was here and um, it weren't it weren't just a typical Glasgow show it was a show that showcased everything from what we were in the past to what we are now in the present and at the end day dark to day black and white but yeah it was brilliant and we couldn't have gone out any better, I don't think. No. You said near the, on the, the last, second to last song that you'd find it sort of hit you at that point that this was the last songs that you were going to play. Well, yeah, it looked but, a little bit emotional at that point. Were you? Well, it's just like through the, throughout the gig, I was like, this is brilliant. It's a gig. It's a gig. It's a gig. I was so used to those emotions. And then halfway through Evenflow was when I realised, right, we've got one original song left next. And, uh, and it's probably... Well, definitely going to be the last time we ever play it together on the same stage. And, uh, you could, yeah, it was pretty emotional. Yeah, yeah, it's a strange emotion to suddenly just find yourself faced with because you're used to just being full of piss and vinegar, basically, on stage and having a really good time and just being like, Whoa. But doing that and knowing that... That's it. That's it. Um, yeah, fuck me, man. Made me like him a bit, you know what I mean? Made me realise, well, yeah, he's alright, you know. Cheers, pal. And what was it like for you two watching from the audience for that when the other guys were on stage? It was great. It gave yeah, it was time cool, to yeah. I really yeah. enjoyed Kid it. And yeah. I'd never been to Coventry before I joined the band, so from the first time I came to Coventry, I felt welcome by everybody who was a fan. Yeah, they showed that. Oh, we that had out. the maximum exposure. They definitely yeah. showed that. We yeah. dropped you in balls deep in Coventry. And then tonight, anyway. I just felt like it was like the people who I'd seen the, from the first gig that I played in Coventry to the last gig it was double the amount of people and it was just like well these are the people who came from the beginning mm. and it was just amazing to just see that's it. what it felt like like it was all your mates all in one place it was friends all... family fans mm. just everybody just turned a huge down. family yeah, yeah. 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 that, that it's out there big that out there right now is just it's just our massive extended Glasgow's family I had one guy oh. turn me on to me and say dysfunctional Glasgow's family come down from Brighton and he used to live in Coventry and he just wanted to watch the last go last gun show. And I was like, that's amazing. Well, we had people drive from Manchester, well, yourself included. Yeah. But uh, no, we had a couple of people drive from Manchester. Right, quite, quite, quite a year. Yeah, we had people come from Brighton. Yeah, I was we pretty impressed by that. All I was over like, the country oh, yeah, just to see our last show uh, in a pub. You know what I mean? But the fact yeah, but that it, they wanted to see it and, you know, they got involved and they enjoyed it. And, you know, we had a nice large percentage of the audience on stage for an entire song as yeah, well. I like, like, like yeah. that, you know what I mean? It was nice, it was intimate, it was, everybody was involved. Was Above all, we look out there and people are smiling. And so, yeah, people were, smiling. Yeah. people were smiling. And I said, I said before we went on stage, I turned around to the lads just as we were about to walk through the curtain and I went, everybody leaves with a smile on their face. Mm. And take that camera downstairs, that's all you're going to see. I know, I know it sounds a bit... Yeah. Well, a bit brutal, but people I, leaving I wanted to leave to with imagine. a smile on my face. I wanted everyone to leave with a smile on their face, and that is what's going to happen. Yeah, that, no, I think you achieved that. Yeah, that, that has been achieved. Yeah, yeah absolutely. But I never used to approach gigs with that approach. I used to be like, well, I don't care whether you smile or like it or whatever. You yeah. can't. You're going to be exposed to my band. You're going to remember us. Uh, and it was really nice to sort of not give a shit about <coughs> trying to forward yourself and just be like, you know what, we're for fun. Yeah, you're just doing it. For yeah. And uh, it made me realise this, this is exactly what I should be doing because I think the fun has been taken off it a touch for me and, and by caring so much, if that makes sense. Yeah, do you? And uh, you know what, I just need to just go out and have a nice time and enjoy myself and that's what I want to do with it. Alright, this isn't the Adam Burroughs uh, documentary, so we'll oh, carry mate, on yeah. with the questions. Featuring what? Sam Farley for five minutes. <laughs> Okay, so you guys have been together, what, six years? Uh, it'd be like five, five, five years. Five years as a band, yeah. okay. Yeah. So, and you guys, the founder members, 
Me and Phil, yeah. 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 Me and Sam, yeah. We're the only two. We're the only two original members left. Yeah. Um, I. It was Sam and Gaz that got the idea together, and then I joined as a drummer. So. Right. And then okay. we got we, we we went for a long time without any bass player, and um. And then we found him. And then we found Fletch, and for the longest time it was it it, it was great. We had we had belief, as as that band, mm -hmm. you know, and then lives got in the way and stuff and, and we sort of transformed a little bit into what we are now and, and then lives got in the way again every stage of the band is it's just it's been great it, mm -hmm. it has been great I've, I've loved every second of it and tonight is a celebration for me of every second of it oh absolutely mm, yeah totally yeah, yeah every mm. incarnation and mm. you know i've only been involved with two of them but it's been nice you know i've gone from playing bass to singing and stuff like that and um yeah, it's been really cool. So God knows what it's like for these guys, because well, yeah, it's seen it from day dot. So mm. there's a few more evolutions to add to the fold. So we all know about um, Adam's mortgage. His desire to get a mortgage now. <laughs> yeah. um, nice. But you just well, said about life getting in the way. What is that one of the reasons though? I depend sort of. Stuff? Life ain't got in the way for me. This this is my life. Mate. It always will be. Yeah, because you're going on. What are you doing? Putting another band together. Yeah, too right. Yeah. I mean, he'll be back and he'll be he'll be bigger and he'll be better and he'll be better. I mean, for me, this, I joined this band when they moved, like, and um, I don't know, it had its ups and downs through joining like brotherly rivalries and other stuff that went on, mm. yeah, yeah, and not knowing whether the band was still together and not knowing what was going on. Not even like, knowing if we got along. I thoroughly really enjoyed point. every moment of it because it was like it was like being on a roller coaster. Yeah. One minute oh, it was going up and then you're like. <laughs> And then it goes down, and then you're like, oh no, and then it goes back up. Take it back up. Yeah, and then you're like, what's going to happen next? And to be honest, for, for this band, it was like, for the I'm longest time. excited about what's going to happen because you know, yeah, it was these worth, two had a fight, and then we played a gig. <laughs> and then they made up, and then he threw a guitar across the stage to settle a fallout, and he caught it, luckily. <laughs> A thousand pounds. Skill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Skill. Yeah. 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 So it was one of them. And then I was just like, fucking hell, these guys are brilliant. <laughs> and then it was just, yeah, it was just fun all the way through. To be honest, like, it had its moments where I just thought, is it worth doing it? And then something else arose, and it was just like, yeah, fucking, this is brilliant. It's always been worth doing it. It's the best thing. Only way I can describe it is the playing together. It is fucking beautiful. Yeah, and it's, it's worth everything. The be all and end all. However, there's just a load of bullshit that comes in. The excitement from time on stage and it didn't always come work. off stage. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. So on stage, it was up here. That was the roller coaster. You know where it's ready to come down, and then when we we're gonna be a, that's where it goes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then oh. you're just looking at it and you go. Shit. We looked, <laughs> we looked great on stage together. We looked really shit in a room together. Yeah, <laughs> that's the, that was the problem. Yeah, yeah we, we struggled in a room. It ain't even we looked shit in a room together. We just sounded. Shit no, no, we looked good because we're all I mean, really I, sexy. I, 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 don't, I don't mean how the music sounded. It was just more the vibe. Sometimes it was just. Like yeah, that. sometimes yeah. But in terms of being a band and being amazing on stage together, which you are, what's been your highlights? What's been the best? What can you take away and say, I did that? You know what. Um, Throughout the entire, like my, my career as a guitarist in the Glasgow's, like there's so many high points, but, and I might just be saying this now and being biased because I've just come off stage, but like tonight genuinely made it, made it all worth it. Yeah? Yeah, like, you know, I was, I was really bitter about it like a few weeks ago, and uh, not bitter at any of the members, just bitter because I, but, I think we've all been me, guilty of being a bit of a we, we, we all Every, that. Everybody in this band remember. has put a hundred percent in at one point. And, and that's what I was bitter about. Because I knew we could all do it. But um But we didn't all do it at the same time. No, no, and that's, that's what I'm trying to say. But yeah, call it like like I'm being biased or anything like that. But tonight I'm happy that that we played the way we did. We ended the like the career the way we did, and uh, I'm, pr I'm proud. No careers have like, been ended. Just the Glasgow's. No, no, the, the but but it but it is the life of the Glasgow's has ended tonight, and I'm mm. and I'm proud about it. Yeah, really proud. I'm not like I'm not not bothered that. Well, I am bothered that we're over, but I'm proud more than anything. Like I'm really proud. 
good. Yeah, and, and that, that's it. the only emotion that's flowing through me right now. Pride. Yeah. It is, it's just pure pride. And I'll, and I'll pride. walk around with my head held high and say, yeah, this was my band. And and I, I said I it on stage, and I don't know if anybody picked it up, but I looked at the crowd and I said to every single one of them, you can never take this away from me. Yeah. yeah. And you can't. You can't ever take this away from me. This is mine. And I'm proud of every second of it. Fantastic. So, I think... You did a fantastic job tonight, rightly so. It was a celebration of everything that Glasgow's stood for over the years, and I think it's been absolutely amazing. This is your last chance to speak as the Glasgow's in camera. What are you going to say to everybody? Thank you. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, I love you all, and I'd love to do that to every one of your faces. You are beautiful. Everybody's beautiful. Baby, let's, let's all love each other and, and be in love. That's all that matters, isn't it? We it should is, all is. love each other. That is all that it fucking is. matters. And we yeah, love you. Whoever's watching this film. You loved us. We, love we you. loved you. Thank you. I mean, Thank anybody you. that ever gave a shit, even if they criticised, liked, loved, fucking was indifferent, Thank you, because you made it all possible. Buy a t-shirt. Yeah, you. <laughs> you know, buy a t-shirt. And now, or a pint. There's decadence in my future. Let's party on. <laughs> Thank you. Decadence. Good night. Go and get pissed. Are we yeah. playing more deviant? More in my get your rock out. Yeah.